of these mass shootings, Arizona lawmakers are looking for ways to keep students safe from gun violence. The state House of Representatives has advanced a bill that would require Arizona middle and high schools to offer training on proper firearm handling. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda is at Mountain View High School where just a few months ago a student was arrested for carrying a toy gun. Emily, you spoke with both supporters and opponents of this bill. What are their thoughts tonight? Supporters say that HB 2332 would allow children in grades 6 through 12 to learn from experts on the safe and unsafe handling of firearms and the appropriate precautions. But opponents say that this type of class should not be in schools. And it's not something that my children, I want them exposed to. They need to be engaging in the arts and career in tech ed, and English and science and math and social studies. They're not ready to learn firearm training. It's an adult conversation and for adults to be responsible gun owners. This bill states that parents can opt in for their child to receive one or more training sessions that teaches simple, easy to remember steps for individuals to know what to do if they ever come across a firearm. The course will be taught by a certified instructor, but they won't be using a firearm. We live in an age we're giving people information is power and what we're trying to do is empower children to help not do things that could hurt them and it's very important that we do things in that way. But opponents say that the resources used for this class could be better spent elsewhere. I would much rather spend some time trying to figure out why a student would feel comfortable or an outside person feel like it makes sense to take out whatever anger or frustration that they have on children and or educators. Supporters add that students will be receiving qualified instruction rather than learning from pop culture and various forms of media. So you get this exaggerated view of how to handle a gun from watching something on TV or in a movie. Movie, whereas in real life it just usually doesn't work that way. While supporters believe this is a positive step forward, opponents argue this type of training in schools could traumatize children. With the increase in anxiety and depression that we're seeing among our youth, to even have that kind of course on campus in a America where they have grown up in the epidemic of gun violence, it could further cause trauma. It's not a trauma-informed practice. Jensen adds that as an educator, she's not sure how school districts can be expected to cover firearm instructors when there's already so many vacancies that need to be filled. Reporting from Miranda, Emily Miranda, 13 News.